in the Indiana Jones Temple of Doom <laughs> is this? Oh. Whoa. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mary and today is a very special day because I have a very special guest all the way from America, North America, I should say, because, you know, there's South America, North America, but it's Ashley Burton, aka Awkward Ashley. I'm so happy to have you on, Ash. Thank you so much for being here. We watched part one of Troy over on Ashley's channel last week. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out and make sure you subscribe to Ashley. She is absolutely brilliant. We are now getting into part two of Troy and part one look we got invested into the story pretty much asap wouldn't you agree oh, ash it has been non-stop action since the minute we have clicked play everybody's just fighting everybody and i'm kind of excited to find out what's left who's gonna be left honestly yeah people just have been dying they don't care about their lives everything is just for honor and I don't understand it, to be honest. I think that this whole thing could have been avoided, but I'm still so invested and I can't help but be invested. Before we do jump into part two of this reaction, I want to remind you guys about the uncut version, which is going to be available over on both of our Patreons. Part one of this video is available or would have been available early access over on Ash's channel and then part two early access available on my YouTube channel. But the uncut is going to be available on both of our Patreons if you guys want to support us over there. I'm also going to list all of Ashley's social media handles and her channels as well. She's got two channels as well as mine in the description bar as well as always. So I think we are about ready to get started. What do you think, Ash? Let's get back into the action. More stabbies. Yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> My money's on Paris, by the way. Your money's on Paris. I mean, look, he's the hero of the story. Oh, he's confident. He just went straight for the attack. Paris is on the defense. Bold of him to get rid of his shield like that, though. He's just taking his anger out. Oh, my God. Oh, oh such weak attempts. This is not going well for Paris. Oh, focus, focus, focus. Paris, who's never killed a man before. Oh. <gasps> I don't know why he got rid of his shield. Oh, God. That's a good punch, though. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Lost the tooth. Oh. 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 oh, my God. Cut into his beautiful thigh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Now he doesn't even have a sword. And no one can help him because he wanted 1v1. <laughs> Helen's like, oh, I guess I'm going to have to go back to my husband. <laughs> Something miraculous happened, please. Oh, no. Oh, is he? Oh, man. Oh, well. Oh, my God. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Oh, oh, God. This this is a bad look. He crawled right to his brother. <laughs> He's my brother. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Oh, my. The king is dead. The king is dead. So does this mean Helen's going to go with uh, Hector now? <laughs> Yeah, what's the rule? <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. His brother just died. That is the most embarrassing battle I ever saw. Probably ever. Yeah. Yes. Is he kidding? Is he kidding? Oh, my God. Hide. Literally hide. You are not ready for war. You are so mm -hmm. green. Slap a band-aid on that thigh and keep on a going. I'm very impressed by Hector, though. Mm. Not for Troy at this point. <laughs> oh, God. This is insane. They're I would not want to be on the front on lines. Top of each other. I think they call the front the vanguard. Whatever they're called, I don't want to be it. How did we have this kind of population for this kind of war back then? Especially if they have wars often. I can actually understand why five women would marry one man during mm. these times because there just wasn't enough men. <laughs> <laughs> they just kept dying. True. At war. That guy is a beast. He's big. <gasps> oh, no. No. Oh, go, Hector. I'm rooting for you. Please, please <gasps> don't die. Please don't die. Oh. <gasps> just oh. pretend to die? No. <laughs> Get into it, Hector. <laughs> Holy crap. Check out that skirt, though. They're real cute. 
They do. How is this man still alive? She must be so proud. They're doing all this stabbing when open-toed shoes. Oh, he is a boss. Mm. Oh, I thought Agamemnon is him. Mm. Then who is redhead dude who lost Helen? I think his name starts with an M. My uh, something. It'd be so annoying to be running on top of just piles of bodies. True. Like, I would just be falling <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. I think I would just have to play dead and like run away and start a new life. Yeah. Tell them they can collect their dead. But they have done the same for us. Yeah, but he has more honor. He's just a nicer dude. Mm-hmm. Like, it just needs to be done. So sad. I don't think they have ID cards out here. Yeah, dog tags so. or nothing. So you just gather them yeah. and hope for the best? They gonna burn the bodies? Oh. Oh, for a second there, I thought that was Sean Bean. For like one tiny second. <laughs> really? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm used to him dying, though, in, in anything he's in. <laughs> True. I'm just expecting it at this point. They really do burn good. the bodies. That's good. It's better them burn the bodies than they just be hanging around on the floor for people to trip over. That's true. I am a coward. Mm. Look, no comment. <laughs> Some people are just Troy. more lovers than fighters. True. You challenged a great warrior that took courage. That's a supportive partner. But he couldn't finish the job, girl. Menelaus was a brave man. Menelaus. Okay. Menelaus. Not Maya something. That's his <laughs> Which is what he I lived for fighting. And every day I was with him, I wanted to walk into the sea and drown. I can imagine. I want a man I can grow old with. Most people do. He was already old, girl. <laughs> yeah. My brother's blood still wets the sand, and you insult him. I mean, not really. Insult He's burnt. Dead man. <laughs> <laughs> Along before the Hittites invade. We stay so here many people. Right reasons. I know. Look what he did to us today. Hector fights for his country. That's Achilles a great fights point. Only for himself. I yeah. He want the girl back. He can have that damn girl. They're so over it at this point. I mean, respectfully oh, though. Oh, oh, the the other girl, Indeed. the Trojan girl. Oh, oh, oh. oh. This is so scary. <gasps> <gasps> no. This is cool. This is cool. <gasps> oh yes. Oh. Thanks, King. Get your girl. <laughs> came back for her that is touching hey give yourself more credit mm -hmm. at least they didn't violate you yet yeah true i've known men like you my whole life no you haven't yeah. trojan soldiers died trying to protect mm. you perhaps they deserve more than your pity maybe your thanks true dedicated your life to the gods you served them yes of course at Ares, god of war blankets his bed with the skin of men he's killed hey true gods. not to brag but i'm an Ares, so <laughs> we're the god of war yeah exactly <laughs> it is a fire sign. It is, but don't yell at me, I'll cry. <laughs> I thought following gods was normal back then. I thought it was too. You will never be lovelier hmm. than you are now. Aww. We will never be here again. I mean, we could come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> he has met his match. She is just as sassy as he is. Mm -hmm. I think he likes that about her. Is that her? Yeah, she's bruised. Oh. Why would she want to? Everyone dies. They have 50 years from now. Kind of depressing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll kill more men if I don't kill you. Many. Right, that's why. Oh. The way he manhandled her. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh my goodness gracious me. All to oh, a knife wow. with his throat. <laughs> that turned him on. Get into it. <laughs> we know his kink now. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky Roseburn. Mm. I demand to see Brad Pitt ass. <laughs> Oh, that's a pretty sunset. Looks like it's going down. I wasn't done in the other scene. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was a sunrise because I feel like it's the morning. Going home. Just like that? Yep. Roll credits. What are you doing in thrall to that pig of a king? <laughs> are we supposed to fear him? You don't fear anyone. That's your problem. Fear mm. is useful. Fear is what keeps you alive. True. He's Greece doing fine, though. <laughs> He's living. The men need you. This guy won't shut up. <laughs> Women have a way of complicating things. I think war has a way of complicating things. I was going to say, me? No. Never. Much. There'll always be another war. That I promise you. Yeah, These are our exactly. Countrymen. You betray all of Greece just to see Agamemnon fall. Someone has to lose. Oh. He's peaced out. Yeah. Like, I just got He's laid, done. so I don't know what you guys are talking about, but Hit them hard. The morale is battered. They just need a team bonding experience to yeah. boost morale. Maybe they should go to an Lamadons escape room. 
<laughs> Stop it. So pretty, this room and their cloaks. It really is. Gods curse the Greeks. So they're like, we'll win because the gods are on our side. We attack at daybreak. And he went into it. He buys it. So we're doing it. Wow. Okay. Aw. These two. The way they're looking at each other. I kind of love their love story. Yeah. Do you leave this world behind? Just say yes. Would you leave Troy? Mm. It's a good question. Counter question. Why are they so attached to their land? <laughs> I would get so bored being a god. <laughs> True. I get bored like I've been a receptionist and there's a computer in front of me and I'm just bored. <laughs> I've been guarding for like hours. Whoa. Sneak attack? Oh. oh. I'll kill the horn guys first. <laughs> yes. Shut the <laughs> What were we? <laughs> what in the Indiana Jones Temple of Doom is this? <laughs> oh! Whoa! Fireballs! <laughs> oh my goodness! Like everybody back away! Okay, run! Start running! Oh my lord! Is this was a real war people. tactic? I think it's pretty good, but they looked very surprised. Oh God, they are literally in hell right now. I would simply poop my pants. What is this? Is this a Color flashback? Grading. Yeah, looks like they dimmed all of the black in this shot. A grayscale happening. Yeah, so he showed up? I guess so. Well, his lady love would not be happy about that. Mm, I just don't have the cardio. I just <sighs> can't do it. Same. That old king before he died, he was old and big, but he was still good at fighting them, mm -hmm. you know? And he eats and drinks a lot, at least in that introductory scene where we first met him. So I what I've that learned sense. is I don't have to diet to be a badass. <laughs> yeah, you can just be a badass no matter what. <laughs> I am so invested in this right now. I know. Ooh. <gasps> what? Damn. Oh, that's disgusting. Ow. Pretty shocking. Yeah. But look, Hector's badass. He really is. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> it was his cousin. Oh, my gosh. It was Achilles' cousin. I thought... Oh, no. That's sad. That is so sad. That makes you want to cry. Kid. He's just a little kid. Oh, oh, he's going to put him out of his misery. I was going to say, you got to end it. You have to. Yeah, he's realized that he's just killed a kid. Obviously, he doesn't feel good about himself. But everybody oh. thought it was Achilles. Like, Hector shouldn't feel bad. Achilles would probably be mad that he's his cousin mm -hmm. without his permission. Mm -hmm. came out into the battlefield. I like that they're talking civilly as well. It's like, we're fighting each other, but we can also have a chat. <laughs> Isn't that weird? They're like, you know what? I was going to stab you, but I'm kind of done for the day. Yeah. Just a little bub. I cannot get over that death. Yeah. He was so keen for war. Mm -hmm. It's good. Achilles did what he promised. He stayed. I ordered the moment to mm. stand down. Uh, you led them into combat. Nope. It's your cousin. We thought you did. <gasps> Oh, how could you do that? Yeah. Mm -mm. Patroclus! Oh. He wore your armor. He even moved like you. Oh, so Where is he? Oh. He's dead, oh. bro. It's not his Where fault. He's dead, my lord. Oh. You can't kill oh, you. Oh! What? You've been choking her. <gasps> okay, I'm kind of off him now. I know he's angry, but... But they didn't do nothing. It was nobody's fault. It was his cousin's fault for right. pretending to be him. That was wild! Is he locking her away for her own protection or something? You follow the river until you get to Mount Ida. Oh. Why are you telling me this? In case he dies. And they come for her. The women they'll take as slaves. And that for you will be worse than dying. It's true though. It's accurate. Me. I killed a boy today. You didn't know. He was young. You didn't know. It's not your fault, baby. Young. What is the significance of the coins over the eyes, I wonder? So that you can go into the next life rich, maybe? I'm Make, guessing. Makes sense to me. <laughs> Remember my credibility <laughs> is out the window. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> oh. Him sleeping so good. I used to good. suck my thumb as a baby as well. His cousin was really keen though. He, he made a decision. Yeah. Oh, he's practicing. Hey, Legolas. <laughs> Legolas with the bow and arrow. <laughs> we know you got skills. <laughs> the ponytail. Meanwhile, I was looking at the pecs on that man. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep 
everything protected. Damn, his suit looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Well, Hector knows now. He's got Achilles on his heel. <laughs> He really is a good man, though. And it he, was an accident. He didn't mean to kill like, your I, cousin. The bro, I was trying to kill you. Don't you understand? <laughs> so we're in the boss mission now. Yeah, the final battle. I'm still rooting for Hector, though. Me too. Like, I love them both for different reasons, but Hector is just a good dude. He's a good man. And had he known that that wasn't Achilles, he would not have killed that dude. Absolutely. Just do 1v1 again, I guess. Because at least Hector can do a 1v1 yeah <laughs> calling him out this is awkward <laughs> hector oh gonna lose your voice soon give him a second he's coming probably thinks hector's gonna hector. win i mean i'm hoping he does no father ever had a better son oh ouch hope paris isn't around oh yeah paris <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, I'm probably going to have to agree that Hector's probably the better son. Yeah, oh God, accurate. You're, you're the best man I know. You're a prince of Troy. <laughs> just stating a fact. He's like, you're the best man I know. Mm, what can I say to him? I'll just state a random fact. That's true. <laughs> you're a prince of Troy. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're something. <laughs> it's like when someone says I love you and, and then the other person doesn't say it back. And you're like, like wow, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Damn, the women in this movie are stunning. So pretty. <laughs> I can't with the Hector. That's going to oh, be a bad omen. The baby cry makes you want to cry. Stop it. He's coming. <laughs> Give him a second. He had to say goodbye to everyone, okay? Thanks a lot, Helen. <laughs> Boo! Plot twist, he should send Helen to fight. <laughs> I'm so scared. Meanwhile, I want skies out, bad skies to out. Either of them. Mm, mm -mm. There are no pacts between lions and men. Whew. Well? I said what I said. <laughs> now you know who you're fighting. Oh. Don't get it wow. twisted. And all the dead will know this is Hector, fool who thought he killed Achilles. Whew. Well, I'm scared. I am very terrified for Hector. Oh my lord. Is this why he's in the poster for the movie? Because he wins. I mean, we've seen him. So stressed. As the wife, I probably wouldn't want to see this. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I couldn't do it. I would just ask somebody to tell me the news. Oh, it's not looking good. He threw away his weapon. Oh! Ooh. Never mind, he had a secret weapon. Sword. Oh, the clanging. Oh. That jump, though. Ooh, giving Ooh. him a bit of a run for his money. Oh, he's locked now. I like that they're cutting to everybody's reactions. Uh-huh. I'm her as well. I'm just like, oh, God. Oh, my Lord. The way he mm. moves. Achilles is so impressive. Very agile. He's five seconds into the future and he knows mm -hmm. exactly what moves his opponent's gonna make. Oh, oh, was that lethal? Can he get back up? Oh, oh no. Oh my God, it looks like he's, oh. Oh, run, run, baby girl. Well, if the first one wasn't lethal, the second one definitely was. Yeah. Oh my God. He didn't even get to say goodbye. I guess he did, sort of. It wasn't really a goodbye. I really liked him. What is he gonna do with the body? He just doesn't give a crap. What? About duty, That's honor, up. respect. What? Ouch. No remorse. That is so sad. Ruthless. I kind of hate Achilles now. <laughs> so much. <laughs> he said he was going to send him into the afterlife, deaf, blind. I think so. So we still gotta. We Ooh, still gotta. He's not finished. <laughs> he's like, oh, not this. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, she was gonna lose either way. Yeah. When does it end? I would just leave. If I was her, though, I wouldn't have want him to come back. I would have wanted my cousin to live. Why do I feel like she's about to do something super dramatic? What the hell? I'm <laughs> to kiss the hands of the man who killed my yeah, son. Yeah, why? So confusing. Yeah. You. Maybe he's trying to beg why for the no, body back? Don't give him back to me. Please. Mm. Killed my cousin. Thought it was you. <laughs> so then he... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm a New York father, but he was lucky not to live long enough to see his son fall. Oh, fall from grace. <laughs> he's like, get away from me, old yeah. man. <laughs> he's like, oh, gross. <laughs> I loved my boy from the moment mm. he opened his eyes till the moment you closed them. Ah, Let me what a good dad. It's very important Let to me him. place two coins on his eyes for the boat. For the what? The boatman. I think it's it's to do with being taken to the next life. Gotcha. Even enemies can show respect. Very true. Hector really was his son's father. Mm-hmm. Honorable dude. Mm-hmm. Meet me outside in a moment. Meet me outside. How about that? <laughs> do you remember her? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she has like a whole music career now. Yeah, I know. I saw her recently on Twitter. I was like, oh my god, she still exists. Oh, oh, okay. Well, he looks terrible. We'll meet again soon, my brother. My brother? That was weird. Huh? Hmm. Your son was the best I fought. Oh wow. No Greek. Twelve. We'll Troy for twelve days. Twelve days to mourn. Perseus. He's <laughs> like, what are you doing here? <laughs> Thank. Goodness, he had some bad news about his son, but at least now he knows his, uh, I guess, niece. Niece? Yeah. Yeah, still alive. Don't kiss him, please. Oh, that's nice. Made her a little necklace. No one will stop you. You have my word. That's oh really good of him, considering he came into the fight being like, uh, I'm a lion and you're a man. Mm-hmm. You're a far better king than the one leading this army. Hey, he actually respects the king. Character development. Yeah, I guess he recognizes that this king is worthy of respect. What treason is this? <laughs> I will smash wow. their walls to the ground. <laughs> Size, that's it. He's like, this again, for real? Pretty cool. That's cute and fun. Cute. I mean, if you live to give it to him, of course. <laughs> that's a really good point. 40,000 Greeks are supposedly gonna die. Or at least that's how many Greeks the king is well, willing to give but maybe he'll be a lucky one she never have struck you oh You've been a loyal wow friend oh oh wow what battle though he's already killed hector where has this version of him been this entire movie <laughs> maybe he's trying to secretly kill the king um the king he's supposed to fight for like he's already killed hector and i don't think he has any other grudges against people yeah like who's left that he doesn't respect his supposed king oh he did lose his ears oh wow okay and well so he is going into the afterlife deaf and blind that is so sad wow that makes me incredibly sad just to raise their little bob by herself am i gonna cry I've got like my eyes. <laughs> They're hot. <laughs> Twelve days later. Oh. Oh. They built a horse. It does look pretty cool. It is really cool. Burn it. Honestly, shut up. I hate Paris. <laughs> yeah. What's coming out of the horse though? Like, That's a great question, the girl. <laughs> they built it pretty fast. Twelve days apparently. Then with what tools is my question? Yeah, that too. It's a lot of ships. Even the horse is like, too many ships. Horse oh is like, god. I gotta go. Horse knew he was about to get killed. Oh my god. What a sneaky way. That is, you know what? I'm impressed. They even have the ropes for them to climb down. The amount of planning this took. What is he doing though? I don't understand what his plan is. Maybe they are thinking of taking the city and stealing the women and throwing the babies. Oh, they're sleeping. Oh. Woo! Goodness! This is such a sneak attack. You know what? I take it back. Paris, we should have listened to Paris. We should have listened to Paris. You're so right. Hopefully Paris can have his I told you so moment. <laughs> yeah. It's so sad considering he was so nice about the 12 mm. days. But Hector knew this would happen. The only problem is <laughs> his wife and baby are probably resting asleep. Oh, I didn't even think about that. And they're not even going to have time to go away Briseis, where is she? oh this is for briseis i can't believe he's done all this for briseis she would not be impressed she would not this is the opposite of a turn on for her i'm surprised he went back for her honestly me too oh that would be so hot poor king oh this poor 
Hmm. Cute king. I have never loved a king more than this guy. Like he just woke up and saw his city burning. What about Paris? Oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah, Paris. Don't don't even try and fight Paris. Nah. Just just go and hide. You gotta get out. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh. Briseis isn't around. Uh, where did she go? Find them a new home. I will. Okay. I will. It's just some random bloke. What? Did he just kiss uh, her on the lips? Uh, Is that normal? Maybe? <laughs> in this world or the next, we will be together. Okay. You should have said that before the boat scene in the beginning yeah. of the film. God, these two annoy me so much. He's like, look, I'm good at the bow and arrow. Let's just go. You know, I think this might have been the time he should have had that sword. Oh. Ooh. Well, he made a good speech. He did. And now he's with the boatman. <laughs> Where does she keep running? She was so Where close she to Paris before. I don't know what her agenda is here. Are you trying to find Paris or are you trying to find Achilles? Like, why are you running so far, girl? Oh, no! <gasps> you oh. bastard! Oh, no. That means Paris is king now. Lord help Troy. Oh, I'm so sad for that king. Too oh. Late for prayer, priestess. Oh. oh. Scrubbing my floors. We'll see about that. Oh, Ooh, she did it herself. Oh, nice. Damn, she killed. She actually murdered. She don't need no man. Yeah. Well, right about now, she could oh, use some help. Yeah, sorry. You're right. <laughs> oh, good. Handled in two seconds. Oh, Achilles heel. Achilles heel. He got hit in the heel. What? Honestly, go king. Go Paris. I am all for this. He had to Achilles redeem himself after the first need loss. need to die. Exactly. Ooh. Okay, so now we know how the Achilles heel got its name. Is he still alive? I don't know how. He's like confused by this. He doesn't have the backstory. <laughs> I hope she's pregnant with this come? baby. Ooh, that would be good. Because his mom predicted like a kid yep. in his future. Hurry. <laughs> Oh, he's crying. Oh, he does have a heart. Briseis, come. That's like his 50th Briseis come. <laughs> <laughs> he's living like a long time. Yeah, I, I would want to be put out of my misery. Yeah. Achilles is down. And the only arrow that remains in his body is in his heel as well. Wow. Not looking so good. Nah, they're not gonna rebuild. This is the saddest thing ever. I didn't think Achilles would do this. He's so unrecognizable. He is. I lived in the time of Achilles. Very cool. So guys, we just finished part two of Troy. I guess it's you can't really call it part two. We just split the movie in <laughs> half. Um, if you haven't seen part one yet, what are you waiting for? Head over to Ashley's channel and check that out. All of her links will be in the description bar below. Ash, what did you think of part two? It was a lot. So to kick off part two with Paris and the original king fighting for Helen's honor, I stand by my original statement. Ain't no woman worth that kind of drama. No, none of it. And it was such an embarrassing fight. I just felt, I just cringed. I could just... It was so uncomfortable to watch. It was cute how he like, I say cute. It was <laughs> heroic how he wanted just one-on-one. -on -one. It's like, nope, nah, this is beef between me and you. But then it was kind of yeah. precious that he ran, well, crawled to his brother. But at the same time, my guy, if you're going to issue a fight, then like fight the fight. Be prepared. Because some of the other movies that I've seen where a character isn't ready to fight, we go through training with this character we witnessed this character go through it we didn't have any of that for paris he just went in green and what did he expect to happen i think he expected to die honorably during that but then he was like no i actually don't want to die so i'm just gonna crawl to my brother and it was so uncomfortable to watch and then we see throughout the rest of the movie how at the end you know helen watches him like practice his um archery skills because yeah. he's still embarrassed that he didn't stick around and fight yeah. his own fight yeah exactly he definitely wanted to improve and we finally see him attempting at battling but at the very beginning of the movie and we talked about this in the outro to your video ashley how he admitted he had never killed a man before and he also looks super young as mm -hmm. well he looks about 18 19 um he looks super young he's never killed a man 
I guess he was expecting that the gods would be on his side. But realistically, if you've never had any training or fighting experience mm -hmm. and you're that young, you've never killed a man, what's going to happen is you're going to get destroyed. Yep. And that's what happened. <laughs> um, but his lady or i guess his wife because they got married she didn't seem to mind she made the comment that she doesn't want to hear she just wants a man to grow old with and fair enough i completely understand where she's coming from you want to grow old with somebody you were married to a king who let's be honest didn't have too much more time left couldn't you have just 100 percent? yeah couldn't you have just waited a little bit longer for him yeah. to just naturally kick the bucket honestly honestly and i think throughout the film i just felt so annoyed towards paris and helen because i felt like they were so selfish and that selfishness comes from inexperience and youth perhaps because they didn't really envision the entire picture before they did what they did they were just acting on just short-term impulses and look what happened probably more than forty thousand men died there were some pretty insane battle sequences ash actually looked it up because we were both really impressed with the fireball <laughs> as well <laughs> exactly but when i looked so we were talking about it and when i looked it up according to um a website that i found is that that kind of war tactic has been depicted in other movies, but has not been proven yeah, to be right. a real tactic in real life in way back when wars. But like, it's kind of yeah. cool, though. I thought it was really cool. But I also thought that people had no idea what was going on. They just <laughs> saw these balls just coming at them. And then they were like firing up and they just they took a minute to run away <laughs> most of them got absolutely destroyed i thought it was a really cool scene and a lot of the fighting scenes and the battle sequences were really really impressive but probably the most impressive or at least the one that i cared about the most was achilles versus mm. hector mm -hmm. because both of us we didn't want either of them to die but i think we both rooted for hector because he was just the kinder nicer more honorable and dutiful man and he didn't mean to kill the cousin like he <laughs> like we kept laughing at it when he was like i thought it was you like i was trying to kill you but that's because hector he didn't want unnecessary bloodshed like he didn't want to kill somebody that he wasn't actually after which as twisted as it sounded, being like, I meant to kill you, he was really saying, I did not mean for this this life to be lost, which was really big of him, honestly, in my opinion. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know what else was really big of a certain character? I actually really liked when the king of Troy, mm -hmm. I was going to say Trojan, but no, of <laughs> Troy, um, I really liked that he set aside his pride and he came to beg for his son's body back from the man who killed his son. He remembered what was important to him and what is important right now. And that was to honor his religious beliefs, traditions and whatever else and have the proper burial for his son, um, despite whatever happened. So I thought that was really big of the king and it really showed us that Hector really was his father's son. And as honorable as we think Hector is, it's because he got it from his son. It's just such a shame that literally every single character died. <laughs> Hector died. Oh, you know what? Paris lived. Paris lived and he learned how to use a bow and arrow and he killed Achilles and he got him in his heel. <laughs> so, okay, I thought but that out was of this whole movie, thing. Paris did one good heroic thing. I know. Like, come that on now. Is, do you think what he did? killing Achilles makes up for all of the other drama because he also did try and warn about the horse as well so he maybe he did two things he was like burn the horse and everyone was like no we're gonna place it over here because it's honoring the gods and then he also killed Achilles so what do you reckon uh you know what he's not on my good side like you can forgive him but I don't <laughs> yeah uh yeah i know he still did more damage like you can't discount all of the lives that were lost throughout this entire movie it said it was based on homer's iliad is homer's iliad a fiction or is it 
recounting historical events that occurred. So Google says, while Greeks of the classical period believed the Iliad to be a factual account of history, today there is no apparent scholarly consensus on whether or not the Trojan War took place. So this could or could not have happened. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh, you know, what did you think of Briseis, actually? I think they did the best with what they could. It's almost like everybody was in this game of survival, but they didn't play it right. If that makes sense. It's just like they realized that, you know, like Hector, the original king of Troy, realized that this could be easily solved if it's just one on one, like man to man, so to speak. But then... So many lives got lost and people just ended up trying to survive. And that's why at the end, like Helen and, and everybody was escaping through the back tunnel because it's just like, you know what? This isn't worth it anymore. We got to go. Personally, during that battle between Menelaus and Paris, Paris messed up there as well by not continuing the fight. He basically allowed for the war to ensue. He just kept messing up throughout the entire film. I felt really bad for Briseis. Um, she was in a very, very difficult spot because I feel like she fell in love with Achilles as well. Achilles comes and and he's killed her cousin, her cousin who she really loves and is close to. And then at the end there, when they capture Troy, she still doesn't want Achilles to be Achilles. <laughs> Achilles. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help myself sometimes. But um, I can imagine the convictions that she's sort of going through and it's not easy when you have familiar ties and duties but also you're in love now she doesn't really have to think about it because achilles is dead i am happy True. that she is alive yeah i couldn't really care less for paris or helen mm -mm. um but i'm super happy that hector's wife and the baby got away 100 percent was rooting for them always loved hector Hector deserves so much better. I know. It was really just such a tragic story. But I think most of all, I was really impressed with all of the battle sequences. They were really, really just cool visually to witness. A lot of the shots as well, really pretty shots. Loved a lot of the sunset and the sunrise shots that we got to see also the production design as well and the mm -hmm. costume design it was really impressive their attires their clothing everything just looked i don't want to say historically accurate because i haven't i i don't have the historical context and we don't know if homer's iliad <laughs> is historically accurate <laughs> but i feel like if it were it looked historically accurate if it that makes any real. sense it felt it real. It felt real. Yeah. Inside. Inside <laughs> our heart. In spirit. <laughs> In spirit, it felt real. Is there anything you want to add? I was not sure how I would feel about this kind of like a historical period piece movie. I've never watched one like this on the channel and I've never watched something like this, you know, in real life or anything like this. And I'll be honest, I would definitely re-watch this movie again. And it's opened my eyes that like if everything has this kind of production value, like you said, with the war sequences and like how believable the armor and the production and the set was, if all historical movies are like this, it's definitely opened up my mind to watching more along these lines, if that makes sense. That's really good. You know what you should watch next on your channel? What? Side note. Uh, have you seen Saving Private Ryan? I have, girl. I cried. Okay. Damn. That's a, that is a sad movie. So, I mean, I just watched oh it recently, God. like a like a month or okay. two ago. Yeah. After this, I won't give you any more recommendations, but also Hacksaw Ridge is another really good war movie. I haven't watched that and one. And it, it'll probably make you cry. Just a warning. <laughs> <sighs> but... <laughs> But yeah, no, like this was a war slash history movie and I loved it. I agree with Ash. I'd probably watch it again. In terms of how I'd rate it, I'd probably give it an eight and a half to a nine out of 10. I really, mm. really liked it. How about you? I think, okay, I didn't realize you were going on a scale of one to 10. I stick around one to five and I'd give it like a four. Oh. It was like okay. a four, four and a half. It's all about the same, just a shorter scale. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was really good. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, just to remind you guys, if you do want to see the uncut version of this 
movie reaction review video, you can do so by <laughs> clicking on the links in the description bar and in the pinned comments down below. That'll take you to both my Patreon and also Ashley's Patreon. All of our social media handles will be linked down below as well. And I just had so much fun filming with you today, Ash. And I'm so happy to have you on my channel. Hopefully one day we can do this again. And thank you guys so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and we will see you later. Bye. Bye.